Bullying tip number 16. Stop bullying with compassion. Acting out of anger makes things worse. The most effective tool, anti-bullying tool, is almost never taught. The most effective tool for combating bullying is compassion, and we rarely teach that skill to our kids when they are being bullied. And part of that is our gut response as the parents. When, when someone's hurting our child, mama bear, papa bear comes out, and we get angry, and we get fierce in defense of our child. And we miss an opportunity to teach our kid, you know, we, we teach them to get, when we do that, we teach them to get angry at the bully, and that just makes matters worse. What we need to be doing is to calm our child down, to help them control their emotions by modeling it, by controlling our emotions, and helping them calm down so that they can think rationally about how they're going to deal with the bully. Now, I think one of the things when I talk to people about this aspect of anti-bullying, the compassion, I get a lot of pushback on this. People don't want to feel compassion for a bully. And I think the reason is, is because they think if, if I feel compassion for the bully, that makes the bully, you know, if I think about why the bully is behaving poorly, that excuses their behavior and that nothing could be further from the truth. The behavior is still not okay. All right. Feeling compassion for someone who's behaving poorly doesn't mean that their behavior is okay. What it means is you're doing your best to understand why they're doing what they're doing so you can develop a strategy to get them to stop. And what would you rather feel? Righteous anger with continued bullying or compassion and getting the bullying to stop? Because those are, I hate false dichotomies. That, that's pretty much your, your choice. You can either continue to suffer and get depressed and disheartened and give up hope. You can get angry, but that's going to continue the bullying. Or you can feel compassion and start distancing yourself emotionally from what the bully is doing so it's not affecting you emotionally as it is when you're feeling sorry for yourself. Feeling sorry for the bully, way better. But it also puts you in a position to think critically and rationally and develop a strategy that will get the bully to stop. Because getting the bully to stop Teaching them how not to bully is a very good thing to do, not just for yourself, but for the bully and for the society in which we live. And, you know, if our goal is to punish the bully, we're not going to get the bullying to stop. It's as simple as that. Punishing someone doesn't get them to stop doing what they're doing. It just doesn't. You get them to stop by giving them alternatives and making what they're doing not work anymore. That's how we get it to stop. And to do that, you need compassion. Because as long as you're angry, you're going to be pursuing punishment and, um, and, and retribution. And that just makes things worse. Tip number 16. Stop bullying with compassion. Acting out of anger makes things worse. By the way, I'm Jennifer Hancock, and I'm the author of The Bully Vaccine. And if you found this information helpful, what I'd like you to do is participate in our library donation project. This information can help people, but only if they have access to it. So I'm encouraging people to learn it, share it, and pass it on. Buy a copy of my book, The Bully Vaccine. Read it, learn it, teach it to your child, and then share it with others so that they can learn too. And you do this by donating your copy of the book to your local public or school library so that kids and parents will have access to this information as well. Learn it, share it, pass it on. Thanks so much.